we've decided to give Dad an extra point for the higher league position as you guys requested. Because he does need all the help he can get as well when his board won't help him at all. He's only getting 10% of any transfer revenue he's making right now and has no money in the bank. Whereas my board continues to give me lots of extra funds to prepare for a season in the championship. Poor old dad at one point only had 15 registered players in his first team. And with some huge bids coming in, he might have to consider taking one. Okay, dad, the big talking point for this summer was the sell of Liam Morrison. Yeah, um, you all know that I never had no money whatsoever to work for, work with, um, and I needed a bit of money. And I was only going to get a 10% of his uh, Well, it was transfer. 10, but you bumped it up to 25. Yeah, so it gave me a bit of money, which I had to use then for wages. Yeah. I, you know, it wasn't a transfer fee that I was trying to get in. It was wages I was trying to get in. Yeah. So I had to sacrifice one player, and um, he was the first one that was available that anybody came in for. So Yeah, and I a lot of money, money too. £6.25 yeah. million, pound, which is not bad, considering you got him on a free transfer the season before. Yeah, so it was good business, really, but... I needed the money for the wages, yeah. basically, really. And there's a couple of other players that you let go uh, as well for a little bit of transfer fee, uh, including Bajrami as well, who was at the club, 130k. That didn't really add too much to no. to Dad's uh, tally. But the signings that you did make, all right. I was all I right. Think, yeah, you've I'm, done okay with the yeah, money. I think I've done all right. Uh, Dorjulis comes in from Norgeland, good yeah. centre defensive midfielder. I know I'm gonna, people are going to laugh at it. I've got to change the tactic. I've, I've got to try yes. something different because I, I only just survived, didn't I, last season? I only just survived. So I've got to try something different. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get and different players in and I'm, I've got a formation in my mind. So he was one of the guys that I actually needed for that position. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, Two goalkeepers you brought in. Well, I lost one goalkeeper, didn't I? So, yeah. Um, let's get let's get a couple of them in. So Vitek was one of them. Another yeah. long goalkeeper was Murray Johnson yeah. from Hibernian. Very good goalkeeper, to be fair. Yeah, he's quite good. Yeah, uh, I think he's your num number one this season yeah. so far. Only 21 as well. That's good. Yeah. Tom Hongs was the replacement for the centre back, Liam Morrison. Yeah, I thought it was a good. This is a good replacement. I think. Really. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, so that's good on a free transfer as well yeah, 26 so he, years so he's age. more player as well so that's even better so. yeah uh, you brought back Sonny Perkins oh, I had to really didn't I sort of um, he scored a few goals for me last season or season yeah, before, whatever season it was because I did say to you know, I said I wonder if I'll get him back and you did say to me I don't think they'll lend you him back they don't normally do it do no. they so I tried but look and yeah they let me have him again well, so. they don't normally do it the season after it's no. a very weird bug yeah. in the game I think but they didn't let you have that for him that season instead they sent him to Barnsley to play in the division below uh, when you know you were promoted that season when yeah. he did 14 and 13 so you got him back the season after in the championship so hopefully he'll do the same again for me this season yeah so. Andre Gomez another loan deal from Benfica yeah having never, to use the loan good deals aren't you I thought it was yeah. a good one that paying just a monthly fee of 50 quid yeah, we couldn't believe that could be <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying that out of my own pocket. Yeah. <laughs> out of your own wages. Aston Ollis was another one, a new gen coming yes, in. We're yeah. going to start seeing more new gens now that we get deeper into the season. Yeah, definitely. We're close yeah. to halfway already, yeah. which is quite scary, isn't it? Uh, Aston Ollis coming in in that CDM role, which gives you an idea how many midfielders are coming in of Dad's <laughs> tactic. Uh, Alfie Doy, a centre back, another backup centre back now. Good pace yeah. on the lad. Yeah. Uh, only six foot, but yeah, good, good pace at 20 years of age. And then finally, Jamie Donnelly from his hometown or his own club Spurs yeah. as a striker who could also play in that centre attack midfielder or centre mid it's yeah. like make your mind up what one do you want to do but he has got good passing ability so he could probably play that quite well oh, that's one of the reasons why I got him in yeah uh, Northern Irish 21 years of age and dad said he changed his tactic does Jamie fit into it Yes, he could play four different positions if he wanted to, Jamie. We've got one striker now going to that one striker formation. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Langstaff was your main striker. Will he still be this season? Well, I, I mean, sure I ended up about locking him in, didn't I? And, and because he's my, he is my striker. Um, but I just thought, well, if I lock him in, I, I could be playing him when he's injured and things like that. Yeah. So, I just thought, no, I'll just let the assistant manager pick the team, the best team at a particular time, and just go with it. Yep. The shadow striker role, which is a role that we obviously both quite enjoy. Yeah. Uh, we've got three across the midfield and then one DM. Two yeah. Mazalas, which is obviously going to give you a little bit of width alongside the wing backs and a box to box midfielder in there and a DM. So I've, I've tried, to, uh, tried to box it up, you know, nice and tight there, but when we get the ball, bang, we'll go for it. Yeah. So I'm hoping it'll do the job for me. Okay, let's have a look at my Wrexham side. First season in the championship. I had a little bit of more money than what Dad did, let's just say that. And I did spend 
it quite well, I think. I brought in John Swift to begin with from West Brom, 84K, 31 years of age, I think. For a season or two, this man's going to definitely do the business for me in this division. He's very good in this division. Good natural fitness as well, so he's not going to decline immediately for me. And he's played in this division for the last, like, 10, 15 years almost. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this signing. Bring him in for such a cheap wage. Oh, definitely, yeah. That's really good for yeah. me. Tyrese Campbell, though, I did spend my money. £1.3 million in total for a striker and that's because Paul Mullin he's just not doing it <laughs> it's not doing it and in real life he scored an hat trick weekend I know <laughs> mental yeah I'm not gonna keep Paul Mullin in the side anymore Tyrese Campbell I, I thought you know going into a bigger division let's buy a championship striker who scores goals he got zero in 20 last season but <laughs> <laughs> he's never got double figures either but he's got one so far for me in six and I spent a million pound on him. And then finally, Scott Wharton, which was probably my best signing uh, for money. Bringing him in as a centre-back there from Blackburn. Uh, 28 years of age, very experienced. And then I started getting some free transfers instead. So Lewis Binks from Bologna, which I thought was a really good pickup, to be fair. Uh, the Scottish centre-back who went to Bologna. Quite a nice little signing there. Owen Beck. There's a few free transfers in here. People are saying, sign some more Welsh players. Here's your here you Welsh go. player. Yeah. Uh, uh, Andy Leon's another free transfer. You can play both sides there. That's a really good pickup, I think. Darnell Furlong, good right back. I like that one. Uh, Josh Bowler, I think, is one of the best free transfers I managed to pick up. 27 years of age, plays on that right-hand side. A good championship player uh, from Nottingham Forest. So he hasn't played for a couple of years but he's really good in this division. Omari Hutchinson, it was quite funny with this one, wasn't it? Because obviously I had him on loan the season before, got had a really good season. Then he went back to uh, his club, Chelsea. And then when he was running out of contract, I offered him a wage and he was like, oh, I want 70 grand a week. Yeah, and I'm like, no, <laughs> uh, that's not happening. So I waited for him to be a free transfer. And then eventually on the ninth for the seventh, when he had nobody coming in for him, he accepted a 21K a week yeah. wage. And I thought, that's funny, isn't it? Uh, so then James Beadle was another one, a long player this time round, a good lone goalkeeper. And then finally, uh, Valise from Tottenham. I also got a striker from Tottenham Youth Academy, but he doesn't play another position. So he just likes to beat the offside trap. On my outs, I didn't really have a lot going out. It was just a few free transfers that went out. Uh, but I've got a good enough squad, I think. I think I've held on to a lot of my players. And obviously, I've got rid of Paul Mullen. Yeah. Uh, so, having a look at my tactic, I've changed it. Last season, I played this. and got into a higher division. So, I've changed a few little things. I've just made a box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, having the DM on a more defensive duty down there. And then the advanced forward slipping to the left there a little bit to allow obviously the box to box to join him up front and the shadow striker to join him up there as well so that's basically all i've changed so far now we have been listening to you guys yeah. in the comments section the point system yeah i mentioned it in the intro we have given dad an extra point for last season for a higher league finish to be honest it completely did cross my mind that we would probably yeah, need to do, do that we, we thought we'd nailed everything down that we thought was right and we just didn't think of that didn't yeah we? it's a work in progress obviously it's yeah, the right, first yeah. time we've done a series like this so bear with us but thank you for the suggestions and we're going to give dad that extra point for that higher league finish because he's gonna need it <laughs> <laughs> uh, and not to mention i think we were it kind of went without saying we just never said it uh but if we do get relegated you get minus the same points as what you would for winning the league. So yeah. you can't get yourself automatically relegated to win the league and just keep gaining points. That's not how it works. If you're relegated, you get minus five points, whatever it is, that you would win the league. Yeah. So which is, which is fair enough. So. Yeah, that's the that's yeah. the rules. And that's if you get relegated in any position. Yeah. Okay then, let's have a look at the schedule for both of our teams so far. My first season in the championship with Wrexham, it's been okay. It's been okay. It started okay. off unbelievably. I'd be happy with that start, definitely. 4-1 against Charlton, away from home as well. Then it was a nice win against Millwall in the Cup, which is obviously always going to be difficult. Ipswich, one of the best teams in the Championship. Yeah. Scott McKenna scored the only goal in that game, unfortunately, for us at home. But then we beat Barnsley 1-0 away from home. We're doing well at the minute. Uh, a one or draw with Bristol City. Again, I'll take that. And a 2-1 win against Coventry away from home. We seem to be better away from home than what we are at home, which is worrying. Then I went from beating Barnsley to then beating me 1-0, unfortunately. So we're out of the cup. Uh, then we played Wolves, who have been relegated into the championship. And I will definitely take that result. Yeah, good result. That a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Well, Dad's schedule so far then. Let's have a look. To be honest, Dad, it's better than what it was last season. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. 3 or draw against Bristol City. We mentioned they're probably quite good this year. And you're probably robbed as well because it's 91st oh, minute no, goal. Oh, got it. Yeah, got it. 
uh, away from home as well. Courtney Langstaff got the first goal in the first minute there to kick off your campaign. You got through against Stevenage in the cup. Then you defeated Wolves, who were just newly promoted. Really pleased with that. Big result. Yeah, definitely. Tom Holmes and Dan Crowley with two late to, goals. Two late goals, yeah, brilliant. But then you lost to Blackburn 2-0. Yeah. Too late, goals. Too late, goals, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you love the 2 0, though, because the next two results were also 2 0, yeah. but you won them. First against Reading, second against Luton Town. Unbelievably good stuff. And then you lost to Crew on penalties oh, in the cup. I really wanted to get through to the next round because you get closer to the Premier League team. Yeah, then, that's it. Yeah. Uh, then Stoke, unfortunately, getting battered by Stoke yeah. at home 4 1. And that leaves us looking at 8th and 11th in this league campaign. You're second in the championship, but as a better start than what you had last season, yeah. do you think you can survive? I'm hoping I can. I've got a couple of the players I've got in were quite good players. I've got a couple of good strikers in, or young strikers to work with with the um, the other guys. So I'm hoping. I'm just fingers crossed. Yeah, I know it's did... going to be. I know it's going to be a struggle, but I'm fingers crossed, really. Yeah, if you did quick pick, Donnelly goes up front, yeah. and not obviously who we would expect to see, McCauley Langstaff. Yeah. But obviously he plays in so many different positions. As the season's going on, it'll probably a mixture of. I mean, chop the, and the midfield looks like they're going to be start working together quite well. Yeah, the same as the centre back. So. I need the luck to be on my side this season, yeah, I think. Yeah, I mean, you had luck last season because you survived the drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, then. The fingers crossed, and, and then they're really crossed tight this time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens in this season and see who finishes higher in this championship campaign. Survivor was Dad's main goal, and there were big periods of bad results. But occasionally, his side put in cracking performances and pulled out a huge three points. But would it be enough to beat the drop? My Wrexham team, however, are enjoying themselves in the championship and we're happy to fly under the radar in some ways. So let's see if Dad's Notts County side has done enough to keep themselves in the second tier in this fourth season or will it be League One football for him again next year? Okay! <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that, five, five points. Yeah, five points. It's clear. It's just that <laughs> you're right next to the red oh. and you add a red next to you yeah. where you've dropped down. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm buzzing. 13th oh, in the league. Yeah, well done. I'll that's definitely great. take yeah. that. Uh, that's a point for finishing higher in the league campaign. Uh, 47 points is not too bad, to be fair. Redding, Barnsley and Rotherham going down. Let's have a look at past positions. Did you have a big drop? Oh, you had a big drop right after we left. I don't know what it does, it? It always happens to me, doesn't it? Yeah, you were in the relegation zone for a while as well. Yeah. Right towards the end of the season, you had a big win against Southampton there and a big win against, against Plymouth Argyle, <laughs> which might have helped you survive because you lost against Sheffield United. See, they, they're looking there. after the local lads, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my race campaign, I had a steady one. Yeah. I had a little bit of a drop down to 16, but that's as low as I went, and I never went higher than, what, 11th. And to be honest, I'll take that. Oh, First season of the championship, you've got to take that. Yeah. You? If this was the Premier League, I'd be the last game on match of the day every <laughs> single week, and I'd have been absolutely <laughs> fine with it. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so that's good. Now we just need to see who beat who in the games against each other, which is quite exciting because we didn't have that last year. No. We had no games against each other. Uh, on the player statistics, John Swift got the most assists. Uh, your guy, Seddon, had the most yellow cards. But outside of that, nothing. Right. I lost 16 games. You lost 25. <laughs> 25. <laughs> so we're going to have to have a look and see. Doesn't say that I lost to you there. We're going to have to go right. We're on Wrexham. So, I tell you what, let's go competitions first. Yeah. And then we'll have a look at the schedule and, and the league campaign again, games against so each other. We've got the FA Cup already, because we know we got knocked out of the um, yeah. Carabao Cup. No, nothing for me. Fifth round by Fulham. Oh. I got to the fifth round, though. I could have played somebody in the fourth or the third. Yeah. So, uh, they I were a Premier League side. Out. This is obviously the best opportunity to knock out a Premier League team in the league below. Bolton League 2. That's annoying. Uh, you're not there, though. Oh. You were eliminated by Bolton. Oh. <laughs> We would have played against oh, each other. But Dad, I knocked out the dirty leads. <laughs> Come on, 2 0, which gives me an extra couple of points. Unbelievable. Nice. Good result. Add leads, that's Ellen Road. So. Gotcha. Yeah, Ellen yeah, Road, that's yeah. absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, I'll take that. Jensen Weir and John Swift with the goals just either side of the half time. And my goalkeeper also got prior of the match, which you would tells you the story yeah, of what happened expect, during yeah. that match, isn't it? Okay, that's. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. So, we know you didn't do that well in the FA Cup. Unfortunate. Second round and third round that you got in the competitions. But you survived, and that's the main thing right now. If you win both the games against me, though, then you claw back those two points. There's only one point between us in this whole in this whole season. But oh, it's a draw. One-one draw in one game, which was at Meadow Lane 
So you've had to travel to me, and you lost 2-1. There's another point to Wrexham. Another point to Omega Luke. 2-1 win there. McCauley Langstaff got your consolation in the yeah. 87th minute. Not very well there, though. Goals I survived. Wise. That's the main thing. I've survived. Yeah. Your squad looks so short. 13 goals for McCauley Langstaff. Only 15 at one stage with the knife. Yeah, you went down to 15 <laughs> players. It was quite scary. I don't think you'd be able to field a team. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like the south end of the championship. Andre Gomez got... This is worrying for you. You two lone players got yeah. the second and third amount of uh, highest goals. But it's good to see a Cornley Landstaff still being a top scorer. Yeah. But then it's... What I think's happened is Donnelly wasn't played in the player role and they've pulled him back. Yeah. Because obviously he's not there. And that's the that's the downside of when you're trying to loan players with no money. You have to abide by what they want you to do. And it looks like they've recorded back. Yeah, he Jamie played 19 Donnelly games. And played he scored 19 five games. goals up. Yeah. In those 19 games. So they've obviously pulled him back and never played him since. They just played him non-competitive games, which is very stupid and I hate that in football management. Yeah. If you're playing him, you're playing him. Why would they want to put yeah, him back and give him games. football? Yeah, Instead, it makes no sense to me whatsoever. But there we go. That's not too bad. Your transfer budget it's more than what you had last season. It's, and I got a bit of wage there as well. So. Well, you say that. <laughs> it's not a lot, 7K <laughs> when you look at the wages that you are paying when you're, you know, your best yeah, player's on 17. Last time when I sorted the wages out, it was naught and naught, wasn't it? Yeah. It was minus two pounds. Yeah, out, yeah. So, so you, you might still have to do a little bit of wheel and oh, dealing. Yeah. Because uh, you do also have a few players that are on there last year of their contract. Oh, actually, actually, you don't. I remember you sorted that out. You sort of doubt. It's just the lone players that you're losing. Yeah. And John Bostock, who's 35 and retiring. So he's only got four pace. So you probably want to want to keep him on anyway. Uh, let's have a look at my squad then. How did I get on goals-wise? So Valise got me the most goals with 20. So Tyrese Campbell, he lived up to his reputation of being absolutely terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and he's wanted uh, by Sunderland for a transfer. And he's worth more. He is gone. Uh, let me he's tell you gonna, something. Yeah. A spoiler <laughs> for the next episode. Tyrese Campbell will be gone. Yeah. Because uh, if I can sell him for any more than £1 billion, he is out of here. Because four goals and eight assists. And then all of a sudden he's wanted. He is out of here. So Valise got 20 goals, which is decent. John Swift got 10. That's fantastic for me. I'm happy. Middle of the road. That's exactly where I wanted to be. Out of all the trouble, out of all the ruckus, with just short of a million pound, but with no wage budget. So, yeah, I'm probably going to have to mess this around a little bit. Oh, my God, I've got nothing. I'll have nothing. I will have nothing. I will have nothing. So I'm going to have to sell people. That's like hard Tyrese to believe. Campbell. They gave you a million pound first season. Yeah. And then nothing this season. Yeah, but there's nothing in the bank, look. No. So obviously I'm overspending on on wages, etc. already. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have to start being a bit more of a selling club and be a bit more smarter with my transfers. Takes two of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this challenge is well <laughs> underway. And I, to say it's challenging is a bit of an understatement. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we're going into season number five. But let's have a look at the points. Yes, knocking leads out of the FA Cup with them now in the Premier League really turns the points around from the 11-9 scoreline it was at the end of last season. Not to mention the extra point for beating Dad's Not County side 2-1. Along with the point for the higher league finish, this gives me four points this season to Dad's zero, meaning Dad stays on 11 points while I leapfrog into 13 as we go into season number five. 